Mark Meehan. So Mark is number eight. Jerry's number seven. Can you plug in? Yeah. Okay, great. I'll give me one. All right, so all the way from Middletown, Delaware, please welcome Jerry Thompson. State or, uh, or Eugene? Lewis and Clark, that's nice in Portland, right? They used to sit in the park benches and drink with the Indians up there. I taught school in Corvallis, which was very nice. It rains a lot, but every time after work, I'd just take off my clothes and jump in the lamb and swim over the other side. I learned, I learned a couple things. It rains a lot, but I, I learned a lot of things in Oregon. When you swim across the river, you got to figure you're going to, you don't fight the river, you just, uh, you don't fight the current. You just uh, go with it, and you end up about 100 yards down the bank, you have to walk back a ways, but if you fight it, you'll drown. So. so I go to these things, and I hear people sing sentimental outpourings of their innermost uh, feelings, and uh, I'm just in awe, so I just do my thing. He was long and tall and hairy, stood about six foot nine, and she was short, petite and wary. She had a cute behind, she was an anthropologist dude, on a summer off from school, where she heard about the Sasquatch, and she thought the name was cool, and now she's half big foot's baby stomp along. I read it in the supermarket news, and it ain't that she's so scared of rabies. But who's gonna buy those great big shoes? Well, I read in the Supermarket Express checkout line. Same issue with the talking, shrunken heads. Where they tell you if your family really came on UFOs. Next Elvis Weekly column, he's not dead, it said. Having baby foots, baby. I read it in the supermarket news, and it ain't that she's so scared, rabies. But who's gonna buy those great big shoes? <laughs> so I rode off to the magazine, asked where I could send some money for the baby shoes and schooling. Then I got a letter back that really shook me up. Because the editor said that they were only fooling. Fooling? Fooling? I thought if they could put stuff like that in the newspapers, and possibly everything else in there was not exactly 100% true. Shit. Oh my God. You know, then there's... Uh, 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 weapons of mass destruction. And then, you know, this this stuff. You guys would think, I, I think I'm freaking nuts, but I, I was standing there perusing this sort of a cogitation, and um, a thought crossed my, my, my mind. This is just goofy as hell. For, for a second, it, it, I, I, I thought maybe professional wrestling was not on the level. <laughs> Nut. She's having big puss, baby. I read it in the supermarket news. And it ain't that she's so scared rabies But who's gonna buy those great big shoes?
All right, so give it up one more time. Thank you, Jerry. Give it up for Jerry Thompson. And if you like Jerry, you can pick number seven, right? Number seven on the back of your ticket. Mark Meehan's coming up. He's going to pick number nine. 